Welcome in this tutorial about creating a simple save system and implementing it to an existing project. We will take a simple city builder project from my previous tutorial and make sure that we can persist the game state by saving the buildings and roads that we have placed into a file. The goal of this tutorial is to show you step by step how to implement a save system to an existing project. Recently Unity has released a cool video about persistent data which I encourage you to watch where they present a pretty nice code for writing and loading the data from a file. While this code is pretty simple, what poses the most questions is how to prepare the data to save it into a file. So we want to pass a string content, how do we create this string? Because to do that we usually need to prepare our project to work with our save system and to produce our data to be saved. This is why I want to explore it on an example so we can see how we can prepare the data before we can save it into a file and how we can load the data to appear in our project. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. First, we will briefly explore the different ways to save the progress of our game. Next, we will talk about serialization in JSON format before we can create a simple save system. Next, we will analyze the simple city builder starter project and adjust it to output the data that we can save and load through our save system. If it sounds interesting, let's go to the next video where we will talk about different ways to persist data between game sessions and explore serialization and JSON format. See you in the next video.